So let's start looking at this uh, platform-based um, architecture. So this is where on the left-hand side, we uh, select a platform that is uh, built on a concept with a large set of well-proven sort of out-of-the-box features. And from there on, you move to customize each of these features to meet your business needs. And compared to a platform-based architecture, the composable architecture is generally speaking based on microservices. Some of them might evolve to be larger services than micro, but um, we'll stick with that for now. And where each of these different services are isolated from the other ones, and they are agnostic building blocks that can operate independently, but of course also communicate with one another. And maybe to make this, to put this into an analogy, we could possibly take the example of a iMac and compare it to a custom built PC. So in the platform-based approach, the, the architecture follows a set of principles and, um, and guidelines that are defined uh, and by the manufacturer. Usually this is part of a larger ecosystem. So it comes with a lot of benefits. There's ease of integration to other technologies, shared data models, ready-made functionalities, and just like in the Apple ecosystem, um, you, you know that um, it basically, if you buy some additional piece of extension, it just works. And the, in this iMac model, Apple essentially defines the reference for everything in that ecosystem. And it has a lot of benefits and a lot of value for money um, if the needs fit with the functionality of that specific system. Usually these systems can be customized but just like the Mac, you will ultimately reach a point where you need to upgrade the entire system to a new version. Um, usually we start seeing this um, kind of platform life cycle in the range of five to eight years. If we now look at the composable architecture on the right hand side, this is more, we to think of this more as a set of building blocks where you're able to add and replace and enhance parts of the system as you go. And this gives you, of course, endless flexibility and makes it possible for you really to, to optimize every little detail of your system. And you work on a much lower level or granular level of your architecture. And because you can change pieces along the way and improve and upgrade parts of it, this idea of a big re-platform usually um, doesn't really um, happen anymore. But of course, as with a custom PC, this requires higher level of technical experience and architecting. So you make sure that the right pieces are put together, that um, a change of one component actually results in an improvement um, to your overall solution. 